about now's your time don't all rush at once <laughs> okay so anyone who wants to, to try it what we'll um, what we'll start with is some basic exercises we'll start with some Tai Chi walking so Sean and John uh, and anyone who wants to follow Follow these two. This is this is a, a basic Tai Chi exercise called Tai Chi walking. The uh, point of Tai Chi walking is to learn to control your balance, okay, in a dynamic fashion. So if you're, it all helps if you walk in the same direction. <laughs> okay, so I'll, I'll give the instructions. Now, the, the two positions, one is called a sitting position, which is the one you're in now, and as you drop the toe forward, and go, move the weight forward, you're now in forward stance. So these are the two basic... Let's try going backwards. So, push your weight back onto the back leg, and in a sitting stance. So watch John and Sean. Push your weight backwards, toe up. Now, lift the front leg slightly and relax it. So the knee is bent, it's relaxed. Lean forward, step backwards. Stretch into the heel and put the foot down. Sit back. Raise the leg, relax it. So the knee is bent. Lean forward, step back. Sit back. So up. Raise the leg, relax it, lean forward, step back. Hand forward, the right hand touching the left pulse point. Okay. Now, pull back the right hip to separate the hands. That's it. Keep the left hand forward, that's your sort of, your side, your aim, if you like. Right hand comes back. Drop the toe, the front toe. So the toe goes down. Palm goes downwards and you move forwards as you move forward you bring the hand into the right side of the waist. Then you untwist and the left hand sweeps the left thigh and the right hand pushes pushes forward. Okay. That's the fall. Drop your right elbow, relax your right knee, step through just as before. Join the left hand to the right pulse point. And there you are, you're in the same form, but on the other side, on the right hand side. Pull back the left hip. Right hand goes forward, left hand goes back. Toe down, palm down. 
weight forward, hand into the left side of the, the waist, and then untwist, right hand sweeps the right knee, left hand pushes forward. And you should commit your weight all the way forward. Okay, so weight is all in the front leg. You should be able to lift the back leg from the floor without any difficulty, without the body moving. Okay, so this is the form called high plateau force. This is the form itself. Slowly, first of all, to, so you can see what's going on. Okay, and then, <laughs> that was very slow. Thank you very much. And, uh, okay, now a bit faster. Okay, so it's catching a kick. Once more. Good. Okay, so that's the form high pat on horse. Another form is, this is the one you like, yes, this is uh, Repulse Monkey, yes? Okay, so Repulse Monkey, so there's a bend at the waist, backward step, brush knee and push. So it's the reverse of the form that people were doing as practice. Okay, now uh, each form has lots of applications, so we'll just demonstrate one of them. And this is a defense from a punch, okay? Done slowly to start with. Oh, yes, the ground, <laughs> the ground is a bit hard today. <laughs> okay, so uh, do you want to do it a bit more quickly? <laughs> okay, a bit more quickly then. Good stuff. Okay, so you can see that it's actually a sweep application, repulse monkey. But it can be <laughs> it can be used against a punch, so it's it's upper and lower body coordination as well. Um, other applications in Tai Chi, there are quite a few locks in the form, and uh, we'd like to show you the application again. Defense from a punch. This is play arms like fan. Okay, so we've demonstrate the form first, starting at the end of needle at sea bottom. Okay, so you can see that uh, it really doesn't reveal its its purpose very clearly. Do it slowly first, yes, please. So you can see there's an intercept, which turns into a lock. Okay, the lock is equal and opposite pressure on the joint. So we're pulling the wrist end and pushing at the elbow, and the lock is on the elbow. Okay, a bit quicker. So when it's actually done at sort of realistic speed, you see very little of the actual form, but you see the results. Here's another application which uh, will show you two ways that it can be applied, so you can see the variety of application in Tai Chi. First of all, here's the application, which is called Single Whip. All the Tai Chi forms have a number of martial applications. Here is one you'll see now from Single Whip, which involves a spin. How was that, John? <laughs> John bravely has volunteered to show this again, so... Yeah. Very nice. 